Okay, so uh, while I was at work, I just saw a Discord notification pop up, and uh, yeah, so the Clan Wars Iron Age, um, they they really snuck this up online real quick. Uh, two weeks after after Gold Season end ended, so uh, apparently, War Gaming has lost their fucking minds. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be like a week after the the gold season playoff is over. <laughs> Two weeks after the gold season playoff is over. So all the all the teams that are playing in the playoff right now are just gonna have two weeks to to take a break from the game to, to like read group for for a uh, campaign. So that's that's great. But there's a video, so we're gonna watch it. And, uh, yeah. See what's going on here. A force enveloped in thick this armor. Is so loud for me. With smoke and fire. And the power to make the whole world tremble. Combat vehicles are always ready for a fight. So long as there's something to fight for. And now it's here. Information? From July 18th through August 1st, a new event will take place on the global map. Cool. It's time for Iron Age. The rules are already well known. Capture and hold provinces to earn clan and personal fame points. So the fame system's not changing. But in this new event, the mechanics for crediting personal fame points have changed slightly. Now every player will know what they're fighting for and receive a worthy reward. Now you will earn What the fuck does that mean? More personal fame points for victory in the battle than before. And the difference between victory and defeat will be much more striking. Okay, so they fixed the uh, problem with uh, some clients could just run a shitload of games and get more fame just from getting five kills and losing, then yeah, okay, cool. A new bonus has also been added to the game for clans, increasing the earnings of personal fame points for all clan members. Find it in the provinces or create it in the laboratory. In the end... Hold up, I gotta back that up. ...the game for clans, Increasing the earnings of personal fame points for all clan members. Find it in the provinces or create it in the laboratory. So they're going to combine the two styles of clan war season to make it to where you're going to get more individual fame if you're in a higher tier clan. In the end, the more effort you put in, the more fame points and rewards you'll earn. And there are plenty to choose from. In Which is true. The top clans end up, the, the, the A teams of the top clans end up putting more effort into the, um, the other clans, I think, so. They're not wrong, but I, I like the new format to where there wasn't clan boosters involved, but oh well. Including bonds, credits, days of World of Ten. The more effort you put in, the more fame points and rewards you'll earn. And there are plenty to choose from including bonds, credits, days of World of Tanks premium account, 2D and 3D styles for popular vehicles, and much more. As always, tanks remain the top reward. This is your chance to obtain the Caro da Combattimento 45T, Object 907, VK 7201. Okay. M60. T95E6. Oh, you got baited there, didn't you? You thought it was a chieftain, didn't you? And 121B. Yeah, if you didn't get a chieftain from the last campaign, Wargaming is basically saying, fuck you, you have no chance to get it one. Um, I don't think they're going to bring one out for a long time now. The best players will be able to get these vehicles in the Alley of Fame, where the number of prize vehicles has increased significantly. Okay, so they're going back to the same number of prize vehicles as before. They just really wanted to get a bunch of auction chieftains out of the... Okay. Oh my gosh. Why did they change it at all then? I could have had a chieftain for free! Compared to the last event, others will be able to take part in the bond auction as in the previous events. A special permit will be required to take part in the auction, which players can... Pre so they're going to still make you play more than five games, which is great because that lowered the chieftain price so much this last time. You could get a chieftain on the North American server for 15,800 bonds. It was glorious. But 
What I don't like about this is is they're going. They didn't like how little they sold uh, through the auctions on the North American and European server. I'm I'm assuming here, and uh, so they're gonna they're gonna lower the number of auction vehicles so they can get more bonds out of you. So, because what do you do when you run out of bonds? You buy tier nine premiums, which are ninety fucking dollars. So let's keep going. Deuce in the workshop. It's created instantly and won't affect your ability to produce other rewards, which have changed nicely. Now you can produce the KV4 Kreslovsky, a which sturdy was... heavy tank with an accurate gun. Oh my god, which was previously only available for buns. Or the 50 TP prototype, which is a million times better than the Kreslovsky. A Polish heavy tank with excellent damage per shot and good frontal armor. Whoa, Wargaming, I wouldn't say it has good frontal armor. You'll also be able to produce improved equipment in the workshop. Currently, it's improved compressor. But what? I'm sorry. What? So, they put in probably two of the most uh, meta tanks that they've ever put into the uh, workshop. Just so that you would uh, avoid building the Bond Turbo. So, woo. Is that the only thing you can build in the Workshop Wargaming? By the end of the event, the most dedicated players will have obtained a permit, one vehicle, and one piece of equipment. I feel like that's impossible. But that will require a lot of resources. Yeah, that's going to require no lifing for, like, a team and a half, so... Meaning you'll have to truly push your limits in the battles for provinces. And those who prove themselves in battle, taking the top positions in the Alley of Fame, will be rewarded with the Prospector 2D style. And the same style that we've had for the last two years? A new 3D style for the 121B, featuring unique marks on the barrel. The okay, how do we have a historical style for a tank that didn't exist? These fearsome tankers will be sure to stand out from the crowd. Join the event, defeat other clans, and earn impressive rewards. Good luck on the battlefield, commanders. This is so dumb. Okay, so these are your reward vehicles. No chieftain, but you can get a 907, you can get a VKK, you can get a... A Caro. All the other ones you can get from the Bond store. Except for the T95V6, I guess. Um... Uh, the Krasovsky, the prototype, yeah, that's cool. Um, but this is what I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about. They're going to flood all of their servers with purple servers. Why? Because uh, people were complaining that they couldn't get their hands on the on the improved equipment because they couldn't play ranked because they weren't, they weren't, they. I don't know. I don't know why they couldn't play ranked. You didn't even have to complete ranked to get the rewards for ranked you didn't have to complete it one time all you had to do was complete qualifications and then third division and guess what you get improved equipment from it so uh parent to vehicle options again yeah uh, 15 v 15 all vehicles can be equipped with the uh, experimental modules so you're super like super turbo super vents stuff like that uh heavy shells yeah, yeah, my favorite. Uh, clans are in fame, both uh, in battles and strategic decision making. The decisions made by commanders because they're adding the fame boosters back in. Uh, the playing field is divided into three fronts, so they still have the basic, the advanced, and the elite fronts. Uh, yeah, you're still gonna have to bid, probably, most likely, or take provinces that have automatic bids. Um, Claim fan points are distributed by the commander. These points can be saved or spent in the laboratory for various bonuses that provide strategic advantages and increase the speed at which claim points are earned. I'm just assuming here that that also is going to boost player fame. So they're basically they're going back to the old way, but they're still keeping the 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 new fame point system or attempting to which is weird. 
Uh, the top 10% of player, clan players who finish in the Alley of Fame during Iron Age will receive the Prospector 2D style. So last time that was like the top top thousand, I think, top eleven hundred, something like that. Uh, there's a brand new two D style to climb for personal fame points it's called the Warrior of the East. Woo, cool. Just like the Warrior of the North, it's just a samurai this time instead of a Viking. At least I think it's supposed to be a samurai. Yep, that's definitely a samurai. Uh, three styles can be a okay. Cool. These are these have been around, so I don't I don't know that I need to show these, because uh, I know for a fact I've seen this one a lot, uh, and uh, I've never I've seen this one also. I haven't seen these two, so there's that. Uh, this is three D style for the. Uh, VKK and the M60, they're going to be in the fame store. Um, you can get up to 3,000 bonds, so you can get the same amount of bonds that you have been able to get until last season when you couldn't get 3,000 bonds, I don't think. Yeah, you could. Never mind. Uh, seven days of premium time, up to 3 million credits. Three crew member, or up to three female crew members. Training guides, five clan styles. Ooh, fancy. Nobody cares. And uh, the event's reward pool will be... 1.6 million gold for what that oh yeah because yeah, yeah. they give out gold but there's not gonna be any clan bonds uh, for what huh oh yeah never mind we just entice players to play with bonds that's right that's right that's why we saved our bonds so anyway uh iron age it's uh it's weird they don't have anything about the auction i don't see though like how many available vehicles are available for auction versus the number of vehicles available for um now oh, here it is uh 1600 reward vehicles for earning a position in the personal clan leaderboard cool i would have gotten it last season if it was this uh reward guild <laughs> 10 uh, oh, oh, oh oh my god 1,050 reward vehicles will and will be what? There will be 1,050 reward vehicles in the auction for prize vehicles. Yay! Woohoo! Only a vehicle that the player does not currently own can be selected. But you can sell it and then uh, select it. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm kidding. I don't think you can do that. Surely you can. Otherwise, that'd be. That'd be so toxic. So, yeah, hopefully I get uh, top 1600 and can get myself a 907. And I guess I get another purple turbo. Cool. This is... This is terrible. This is, like, one of the worst things I've ever seen. This looks like it was frantically put together in the last two weeks. I'm not going to lie. Who do we get people to play? Oh, uh, Purple Servo. Uh, um, um. Oh, nobody nobody liked how many auction vehicles we had. Everybody's making fun of the people who got auction vehicles. So let's just, let's just go back to the way it was. But instead of uh, 2,500 and 1,200, we, we do 1,600 and 1,050. Yeah, let's just lower the number of vehicles entirely, right? I think the only reason it was as high as it was in the past is because uh, not as many people had those tanks, right? And uh, now there's, like, so few to get. So, um, yeah, the people who were predicting 50,000 bonds for the Chieftains, yeah, that were wrong, by the way. Uh, guess what? It's going to be, like, 50,000 bonds for a 9 again. So, there's that. Or a VKK, or a Caro, or one two one B. No, don't bid for an M sixty or one two one B. That's just stupid. <laughs> there is no chance that the bond auction will be under fifteen thousand. So do not bid for the M sixty or the one two one B in the bond auction because you can get them from the bond shop for fifteen 
thousand. And I think the E6 is in there now, isn't it? I don't know. But anyway, this is uh, this is Clan Wars Iron Age. There is like, I want to see the badge. Where's the badge? I want to see what the badge looks like. I want to know if it's as ugly as the confrontation badge. Where's the badge? Why why wouldn't you show the badge? Oh well. Well, this is uh this is everything that's going on, and uh, there's there's like no new styles or anything like that. In fact, you can't even get the 90 style. So, yeah. This has got to be like one of the least exciting tank campaigns I've ever seen. So, yeah. Let me know what you think about it, I guess. And, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll try to keep up with the comments. Um, but I got to get this out so I can go back to work. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, what I'll do for the for the thumbnail is like I don't know, put like get like that picture and then who knows? Yeah, okay. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye.